All right, Amanda, thanks a lot. It's a new start for recreation in Lowndes County. The first employees of the newly formed Lowndes County Recreation Department's department start in two weeks. Our Victoria Bailey spends the day learning about the plans for the department, and she joins us live with more. That's right, guys. For some towns, the recreation center is an important piece of the fabric that holds the community together. But for the Lowndes County Board of Supervisors, they want to ensure that recreational services like soccer is accessible to all. For years, the Columbus and Lowndes County ran a joint parks and recreation department, but now the county is set to go it alone. We felt like long term it didn't benefit the members in the county that we needed to go in a direction that allowed them to have that service provided to them in their community. District 4 Supervisor Jeff Smith says having a park and recreation department that's accessible is important to any community. The goal is to serve. If you have an area that's underserved, should be a better word, then our goal is to make sure that they get access to uh, quality service like everyone else. And this allows us to be able to move in that direction. Roger Short is the director of the new Lowndes County Recreation Department. He says though they are creating a new department for the county, that doesn't mean the county is abandoning its prior commitments it made to Columbus. They'll continue to use our facility for their soccer program. Uh, then two, the, uh, the county has committed to helping with their funding of the city parks uh, in the amount of $200,000 a year. Okay. For, per fiscal year. Uh, and then the third way is with the Field of Dreams. Uh, the county has also committed $50,000 to the Field of Dreams until it is built. The new department will cover all community centers, walking tracks, and parks for the county. Smith said it should be easy for all residents to reach any park and rec activity. Well, location was major. You know, you had people that had to drive, in some cases, 25, 30 minutes to town just to be able to uh, participate in activity, uh, whether it be youth participating in youth sports or whether it be senior population having to come over. The Lowndes County Recreational Department will be fully active October the 1st, but for now, we're live in Columbus. I'm Victoria Bailey for WCBI News. Guys.